Hey everyone, it's Amy and I'm finally back after two months. I know it's been a while, but um, I would definitely appreciate it if you could leave a comment down below telling me what you like to see in the future, like a Q&A, a shop. I know I will definitely be updating my duct tape wallet shop or tutorials or something. Just be specific and I'll definitely try and post some new videos. Um, school has legit just been killing me. I'm just waiting in anticipation for college decisions and whatnot. So I've been basically dying, questioning my purpose, sleeping way too late, and eating weird things that I shouldn't be eating sometimes because stress gets to you. Um, so enough of that. I'm just gonna get started with the things that I did make recently and I made this woman's wallet and it is as you can probably tell from a little preview there that it's gold and snake and I'll just focus it so that it'll be clear and it's very shiny even though I put no clear tape on it yet um, I don't think I will because I like it better that way and it's the Esri Belta 04 Sandra's um, unique weave and on the inside it just has a different layout it has five vertical card pockets and I haven't made a woman's wallet in probably a year so it's definitely refreshing something different I know no one ever buys women's wallets but I just really want to make this weave for some reason and it's three pockets and then this trapezoidal angular little coin pouch and that's pretty much it so I really like how it looks it's pretty thin and I'm pretty proud of it actually it took me quite a while but I love the turnout here is this blue plaid and electric blue and white basic bifolds. It's just three pockets, a 90, and two hiddens. And then I made a bunch of these little circular pouches. So um, this one, I'll just show you one of them and go through the colors really quickly. So this is cotton candy. It's not lined up, but I did try to line up most of the designs. And it just has big uh, accordion section. Um, expandables and then velcro just um, close it off and some kind of solid color on the inside so this one's fun skulls with fuchsia as well i just try to pick simple color combinations um i didn't try and go crazy being creative and whatnot but um i just think they're really addicting to make so i made so many at one time and i just really like how they turned out i think the circular flap really does make a difference it's really a cute touch I think simple but definitely something different and um, these are really good for on the go for kids lunch money when you just want to carry something small um, just a couple cards some cash or something I think they're really good for school and um, people of all ages it doesn't have to be kids I think and lastly a fill with it with electric blue so that's all that I made for that and then my sister and I um, also made these little duct tape beads. I know were quite popular, I think, a year or two ago. Um, but I still really like them. And so I just got a bunch of coffee stirs. And then we just made a bunch of these. We just rolled them onto the stirs. And I just have a bunch of different colors. So crazy rainbow colors. And it just makes it a lot easier so that I can make the bracelets quickly if I really um, want to make some and because they do take a while sometimes and this is definitely not even really remotely related to duct tape but I hollowed out this book so it's basically uh, I just cut out a big rectangular hole out of um, a two inch book which is about an inch and a half deep and then I just sealed everything up with glue so that's why you can see these pages won't even move and on the inside as well so you can hide secret things in here and I, de I definitely think I'll be using this in college or something like that or I'll give some to my friends for their birthdays so they can hide some secret things like stash some cash in there or something or secret items memories trinkets or something and then um because I got inspired off of some YouTube video but um, here I also have some clay charms. I was channeling my inner Forever 21, my inner, um, dare I say, white girl stereotype, and oops, I keep dropping it. So basically, um, it's supposed to be a statement necklace, and this is not doing it justice at all, but a terrible angle. I don't want it dropping, but, um... I don't have a gold chain yet to link it all together, but I was just trying to make it into, I guess like a pendant like hanging and everything with angular shaped rocks I guess so or some kind of gem and they're all super shiny but it has flakes of like glitter I suppose in there so I just tried to make it um, like 
look like something store-bought, I guess. And then I also made a ton of pancakes. I don't know why. I was going a little crazy with pancakes for some reason. Um, I'll just show you one of them, but I made, I think, over 25 of them, which is, uh, I don't know. I just got a little crazy, as you can tell in this craft update. I kind of went crazy with everything, making too much of everything, as usual. Uh, so this one is shiny. I don't know if you can see it. I'll definitely try and focus it. And things keep dropping. This is great. Um, it has some butter. And you can tell that the there are two slices of butter. And then actually melted butter. And will it focus? It's okay. That's probably the best I can get. And then I made a handful of them. And you can see I have way too many of these. Um, so. Oh, they keep dropping. This is great. Okay, so you get the point. And um. So then I made some tuck cakes, and they're inspired by uh, pizza and s'mores and yummy things. Oh gosh, so that's great. <laughs> this is the pizza one. These are the pizza ones, and so they have pizza-like frosting, and then pepperoni, onions, and green peppers. And so the bottoms are different colors. So this one's supposed to look like an actual pizza. This one's dark green like the peppers. And this one's just fuchsia by itself. It's different. And then here are some s'mores cupcakes. I just really like s'mores even though I never get to eat them. And I just put them all together. And then here is this fancy or kind of cupcake with uh, flour on it and this one's a carrot cake and then this one is a mint cake or something like that with leaves blue um, and then I have these luggage ones I don't know I thought these luggage charms I just thought they were cute little vintagey kind of style travel I don't know I really like traveling so I thought that would be interesting and then I have this little glow-in-the-dark moon. I don't know if you can tell that it's glow in the Okay, yeah, you can't tell, but it's glow-in-the-dark. You gotta trust me on that one. And here's a little cute macaron charm, because I love macarons, even though I never get to eat them, with this huge purple flower. Again, going with my s'mores craze, I made this little s'mores charm. I actually made probably 10 or 15 of them, went crazy as well. And it has a little clasp, so you can hang it onto zippers or something. They're really cute, and um, a lot of my teachers that I've given them to really like them as well. And lastly, I just have my pendant, um, this peacock necklace chain. It has little clasps at the end, and it's just, uh, I glazed it so it's really shiny, and it's just paisley. So, it's a peacock cookie, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, that's all I had to show you, and... Hopefully you enjoyed everything. I know I've been talking way too long. I can't believe it's eight minutes. But I hope you will comment down below. Tell me what you think. And I will see you next time. Bye.